How many of you guys would love them giving them that magazine? <laughs> September 28th, right, 2007, we were doing Howard University's homecoming. The guy called me up and asked me to meet to do Howard University's homecoming. And, and of course, we did that deal, and I gave him a $6 magazine. And I told him what I was doing. And today, we've been blessed to make millions of dollars. And here's what I'm going to share with you guys. My name is Stan Richards, and I'm the author of this book called From the Bus to the Bentley No More Limits. Thank you. And when I gave my good friend Tupac, who's like a, a, a brother to me, when I gave him that magazine, you know, I was at a point in my life, you know, I had been working for Metro for 18 years. I had a great job, don't get me wrong, that was a great company. That is a great company, and I had a great job. But I was tired. Is anybody here tired? And I was working eight to faint. Anybody here working eight to faint? <laughs> and this is a true story. My wife didn't like me and my kids didn't know me because I was always on the bus in the ghetto where I came from. I come from absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Seven kids in three bedroom apartment on public assistance. And when I looked at this for the first time, I didn't even know if this would work for me. All I knew was that what I was doing wasn't working for me. And I said, you know what, for the investment, let me just give it a shot. I got involved with this company, and 14 months reached senior vice president, and 18 months fired my boss, and 22 months retired my wife. At 44 years, I, oh, I never read a book. By age 47, I was, all, I was a published author. In two weeks, I'll come out with my second book with Les Brown and George Frazier. I started my foundation, the Richards Group Foundation, and now, because of the foundation, I've been blessed to go back in the inner city, starting in the same projects where I grew up. And I'm teaching our kids to see beyond their circumstances. I was blessed to win the Steve Harvey Neighborhood Awards for two weeks And I work out, I go to Chipotle, which is my 
Polls work out for me. <laughs> Y'all do that sometimes, right? <laughs> your boss tells you to be hungry, you get your work. Um, <laughs> no, let me, get, let me get to the point. I don't want to take too much time. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm at Chipotle. I'm in my car, and I'm on the phone. And I see this car pull up in front of me and stop. And there's this young man and his, his girlfriend in the car. And I'm, I'm staring at them. And the reason I'm staring at them is because they're driving what used to be my old car. It was a uh, Volkswagen Golf. And it was a Hunter Green. Why would anybody buy a Hunter Green car? I don't know. But I did. Um, it was a Hunter Green Volkswagen Golf. And I'm sitting in the car on the phone. And I'm staring and I'm staring and I'm staring. And truth be told, these people. I got out of my car, and they read my license plates. And the guy says, hey, man, what does your license plate mean? Now, my plate says P-Y-M-D-T-H-S. And I said, it means pyramid this. <laughs> and he said, well, he said, well, what's that mean? I said, well, I'm in multi-level marketing. He said, what's that? I said, direct sales. You know, you've heard of those companies where you help other people get started? He said, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> It exactly, that's the answer. So here's the thing, I know Stan says not about the car and things like that, but you gotta understand something, guys. When I joined this business seven years ago, I was 26 years old. All my friends told me it wouldn't work. All my friends told me the people at the top were gonna be the ones that made money, that was it. And I said, thank you for that advice. I went straight to the top. <laughs> most money. Facts are facts. But on the way, you're going to make a boatload of your own. See, at 27 years old, I was able to retire my wife and myself. My children have never seen myself or my wife ever work a job. My kids get mad when their friends' parents are at work. <laughs> Think about that for me. When they can't go play with the kids, with, with their friends, because their parents are at work, my children get mad. They don't understand why their parents would choose to work. Hear what I'm saying? Would choose to work instead of staying with their children. And you might say, well, Bill, they didn't choose it. They need a job. That's not true. You have to pay bills. They never told you where to get the money. So I'm here to tell you that there's another way. I'm here to tell you that there's another opportunity. And I'm here to tell you that if you decide to win, I wrote a book to stay in. I'm ready for change because the bottom line is these folks behind me want to be standing over there. And the only way they can go over there is if y'all get up here. That's it. Thank you very much.